microphone check one two skip all that you already know the gemini scorpio podcast episode 39 god damn Sheesh. episode 39 is underway y'all you already know mr j i'm here uh hila bay is in the building hello 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 uh, miss greenaway is here what up uh, Alex and the Blanc is in the building. Yes, and sir. we got the gang. It's only the gang in here tonight. You know what I'm saying? We got Lante Base Guy. We got uh, Monique in the building, aka Pink Celebrity. Joseph D. Friend, Gio the Leo, and shout out to the gang. My guy Christopher Cheatham is here. Thank the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the nice Lord because the house is a little messy today. That, that's your that's your brand name. Oh, here we go with the shits already. What? The house is how was y'all? I'm just saying I'm glad it's just the gang because the house is a little choppy today. But you know, because you went out of town, right? You didn't, but you know. However, you left the house messy. I thought we talked about it on one of the podcasts. Sheesh. Yeah, you didn't clean well, up the, before you left. Since I got to clean up and do everything else, I might as well. You know, well welcome to adulthood. You're right. <laughs> so what do you do? I mean, I work. I clean up too. Oh, so. Okay. Yeah, we both just ain't didn't clean up. But I even it. wasn't talking about you. I was just saying it's messy. Whether I got to clean or you got to clean, I just said it's messy. You all right? Yeah, yeah. You I mean, sure? we late. And we're going to be pointing out things. You, well, you knew that, though, if you want to point out things. <laughs> how was your week, Alex? Oh. <laughs> how was your week? Let's get into it. How was your week? Right. You know, I ain't going to hold you. My week was actually. Actually, week was, it was chill. Like, I had a moment, if I could be transparent, like to failing publicly. Oh, I don't shit. like failing, but like. What did you like fail publicly? New, Space like pu- uh, producing, you know, like oh, when you're man. producing by committee, you have people around you. Like it's a space where if you make a mistake, everybody sees it. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, and it was one of those moments. But it just gets you like comfortable with failure. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. coming back the next Not day. Not failing, and, and but learning. But le- it's the Ooh, lessons in it. Come on. Let me ask you this wise. though: Is it? Do you think it's um? It's easy to do your job when nobody is around watching, or is is it is it harder when people are watching? I think it's easier. I mean, a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I can move at the beat of my own drum. When nobody's watching, right. but you when I'm in somebody more else's, yeah, meticulous, right? When people are watching, you have yeah. to, you have to be. It's just more pressure yeah. because you feel like somebody's over your shoulder and you're carrying in something on your back. So mm-hmm. it's just like that yeah. makes sense. Ladies, yeah. Miami was lit. What's what's going? On? Can we get can we get this out of the shot? Or I mean, my, uh, it's about to start and then something <laughs> in the shot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so you know I, I feel like um, Miami was a movie. You feel me? But I mean, I feel like. <laughs> Everything I do is a movie, but I'm not here to flex today. Um, But that was like a small part of my week, honestly. Um, I had a good week until I was attacked (laughs) by a jogger. (laughs) I forgot about this. So wait, I thought that was before Miami, though. It was was during the week. week. Yeah, (laughs) it was Wednesday. Yeah, because I thought I was good. No, I swear I got nervous at the airport because they were like, Wait a second. And I was like, she here we go. Charges. I was like, I'm not going. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm, not going. I'm going to, uh, no, I'm thinking no, I'm not going, going to Miami. Miami. I'm, I'm going, going to, go to jail. jail. <laughs> but let me know how it was. And it's going to be well, a long weekend because Mondays, because this is Labor Day, facts. you would have said. there until Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, and so, okay. Um, <laughs> this is a funny story. I'm doing yeah. my, my regular routine. You know, I'm, I'm saying I'm working out outside. Um, I do live in like a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood. So mm-hmm. there's this like older white woman. I, this was like my third encounter with her. So the first time I saw her, she was like, where's your mask? Put on a mask. Mind you, there's plenty of other people out there with no mask. They're white. She says she doesn't say anything to them. So Working the first out, time the I'm like, first of all, I don't know what CDC guidelines you're reading, but mine say you can be alone and not need a mask. And I have asthma, you know what I'm saying? So I'm working out. I don't have time for that. So I, I told her like, lady, I have asthma and you're coming towards me six feet. So respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. (laughs) okay. Fast forward to a week later, see her again. She's with her husband. Yeah. See, there she is. There she is. So y'all know me. Fuck off, bitch. All right. So now we're on the third time. This this past week. Mind you, I don't know if y'all have ever ran like, for a long period of time, but I'm running, all right? It's hot as hell outside. I'm on mile eight out of nine. Mm -mm. This bitch jumps in my way. First of all, I think I hurt my ankle a little bit, like not even trying to be funny. I think I twisted a little bit. She gets in my way while she's walking. She jumps in my way while I'm fucking running and is is about this mask. So she's like, really, really? (laughs) Boom, she throws her hands in the air and 
it might have knocked my AirPod out. It may not have. I might have removed it because I was, I was just taken aback. So I gave her a chance. I said, put your hands in my face again. And yeah, put your hands in my face one more time. She's I dare you. 62, by the way. Yeah, she was 62. <laughs> so she puts her hands in my face again with no problem. I'm like, Trump got y'all gassed up. So she puts her hands in my face. But like, you know how like when you're playing, when you're a kid and you like, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. But you're like, she's like. She's pulling her punches. She's like, oh. well, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I turn around. I think about it. And I turn back around, boop, right in the back of her head. Boom, she flies. Her hat falls off. Next thing you know, she whips out her phone. Help me. Help me. I'm being assaulted. She's filming me. She gets up. She starts running behind me, filming me. Like, you're going to jail. You're going to jail. Whoa, can we get some sturdiness? I'm on the <laughs> phone. With, I call my mother because I'm like, what do I do? I'm about to get low. My mother's like, get off the phone right now and call the police. I'm like, all right, cool. I call the police. She's still running behind me like, you're going to jail. And I'm like, on the, I'm on the phone with the police. And I'm like, yes, I've just been assaulted. I've been attacked. I was like, as you can hear, the, the, the woman is still chasing me. I'm afraid for my life at this point. I think my life is in danger. Hell, this is a hate crime at this point. So the police get there and they automatically go to her. And I'm like, that's crazy. Well, she called them after me, but I'm like, still, I called first. You should respond to me. I'm the one in danger. <laughs> no, I'm in danger at this point. Wait, 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 wait. Say that one more time. At this point, I'm, I mean, they, honestly, they though, all jokes aside, first? they went to her first. Uh... She's, a, she's a white woman who's old. We're in Montgomery County. I mean, that's, I, it was, it bothered me, but I, I understood. It's like you said last time, like, we got to know what we're dealing with. Yeah. So I'm just like, all right, cool. Plus, I'm in a do-rag, a hoodie, you know. They're probably like, let's go to this lady first. Respectfully. So they come over to me and I tell them my story or whatever. And then um, I wake up the next morning and the sheriff is like, yeah, come outside right now because we got to serve you. And I'm like, look, am I going to jail? Just be upfront with me because I'll turn myself in. But I got to turn myself in right now because I need to get out. Yeah, so before get to Miami. Yeah, because I'm not wasting my money. So I'm like, I need to get out before Miami. <laughs> so he's like. Listen, it's civil right now. I'm going to be honest with you. Based on the report, it's looking like it will go criminal. You just need to show up to court on this day to defend your case. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Problem is, I got to work that day, so we'll figure it out. But I just had to let y'all know that it's crazy. I feel like Trump got these people gassed up. This lady literally harasses me. And I know it's because, obviously, you know, I'm not a part of the, the white crew. So it just made me think about, like, um, Ahmaud Aubrey and all of them and I'm just like damn he was jogging in his neighborhood and it just wasn't fair and you just never know what somebody's gonna do 62 or not her husband might have a shotgun in the house you know what I mean right, right, and then right. I just I kind of felt like damn like with all the exposure to these events it's almost like it's getting worse yeah well I'm happy you knocked her cap off because uh, don't ever get in my face. Don't get in my I'm in sorry, my personal you should have in my personal space. Huh. Six feet. I, is that You're like, harassing me. Is that self incriminating though? Like I don't know if they're gonna watch the podcast and be on some. Well, it was in defense. It was in it was defense. defense. Right. She came, you know what I'm saying? She knocked her airpod out of her, her ears. She and twisted my ankle. The thing is though, in the report she though. Twisted your ankle? She twisted her ankle. I mean, <laughs> she put you in an ankle lock. Like, she <laughs> twisted her ankle. Are we WWF? Nah, WWE? The, nah, but the kill is like, she really ran in my way. Like, not even just on some, like, she tried to trick no, me. No, she huh? was like playing defense on me. Oh, shit. Because I was trying to like, run around going, her. Where you going? And, yeah, yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. uh uh. Uh-uh. Who's that mask? Who's that mask? I was like, bitch, you know. So you ran into Karen. Her name, her, Debbie. Name is, her name is Debbie. Debbie the Downer. Debbie the Downer. I'm not going to say her full name because that might be incriminating. Damn, so. But, we got Damn. Cameron's and Debbie's. We got to deal with both Cameron's and Debbie's. It's crazy. Kelsey, Sylvia's. I don't give a fuck what the bitch's yeah, name is. It's, it's getting crazy. Damn. It's getting crazy. Megan. But I honestly did feel away because I'm like, she called me like, all right, I'm just letting you know I might go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm on the way. I'm like, just, just wait. Let's, let's so see. what do you do in that situation? Do you, do you set money aside? Like, do you set money aside? so like, yo, you gonna bail me out? Like, not yet. Is, I literally was, she like, was like, no, she did. She I was did. like, I was look, like, listen, if it goes down, down the cards upstairs, yeah. will bail me out. Yeah, we like, gotta go to Miami. Well, <laughs> <laughs> wait, we gotta so go to Miami. We gotta that like that. Like Miami is the most important part. We gotta go to Miami. It was really funny. She said she was like, I'm. 
that I don't care about the cops being here. I'm worried about anybody seeing me in this do rag in the city. Like, <laughs> so I was this Greenaway. So I was going to take the phone out and film her back, <laughs> but, I was, but like, I was like, nah, because if this goes viral, they're gonna people are gonna be like, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Who is that? Because I had a tight, my hair, like I had just taken my weave out. So my hair was literally just like had glue in it, all kinds of stuff. I had like a black scully and then I had like a black hoodie and I just looked crazy. So I'm like, damn, I can't even blast this lady because I'm, I'm going to look crazy. Damn. Period. What about oh, you, man? How was your week? Uh, my week was, you know, I worked, I had a, I had a, I got through a lot of work this week, which was cool. Um, just a needy week, just all around, just doing a lot. Like I just was doing a lot. Got to Miami, great weekend. Got to chill and relax. You know, despite being called the sneaky girlfriend. Mm -hmm. However, Ooh, shade. Um, it was cool. Yeah. I had a good week. I'm Hold on. Every time y'all get like tension, me and Alex both <laughs> at the same time be like. Yeah. Like, I already right. said it. I was gonna let y'all they rock do her thing. Right. <laughs> I, I However, you know, uh, I had a cool. The week was a little. I was tired because I was like running around. I was working, and then you know that virtual learning shit is just second week. So I'm trying uh, to get through that. And both you know, of just, our kids fell asleep on day two. Well, like, our kid fell asleep on day, on day one. one. My kid fell asleep on day two. Like they're falling asleep on camera. I gotta keep happening her teachers don't get on on time like and then her schoolwork i don't understand it so yeah. it's just like it's you know we're, we're like stepping in trying to figure it out Stupid however math and shout out to malachi you know uh jay got her a tutor so okay. she says she feels like a genius now so that's dope she if did say that for a tutor she did um other than that like yeah went to miami had a good time and we here made it back in time, whatever, whatever is in time to film. Definitely We're here on time, Sunday. In time. I mean, we started at 2.30, 3 o'clock before, just saying. But, you but know. But you know what? Most More more importantly, though, I feel like we made an effort to get back. Because yes. technically, we wanted it to is stay. Labor Day weekend. We wanted to stay. Everybody's having fun until, until Monday. Tuesday. Yeah, until Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. So it's like, all right. Girls gotta work. So the we gotta work. No, nah, it's, it's not an excuse. We gotta work. Well, yeah. That's why we here. Everybody was like, "Well, why y'all leaving? We gotta I, go to I work." I gotta go to work, and that was it. Like, we got the podcast. Shout out to Jazz for plugging the podcast everywhere we everywhere went. Everywhere we this went, weekend. that everywhere was dope we as hell. Everywhere we went, everybody we talked to knows about the podcast this weekend. So I fuck with that heavy. Yes. So shout out to Jazz shout plugging out to marketing. It. Yeah, marketing. it was lit. So. Let's get into yeah. the shits, man. Let's get into the podcast, man. Uh, all right. Ladies first. Ladies first. Ladies first. Ladies first. Ladies first. I feel like we went first last we go week. We first all the, every yeah, week. Ladies first every week. Yeah. I think that's just standard. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just standard. Here comes the sexist bullshit. Wait a second. Why do? Why must we? No, I want y'all to go first this time. No, all because right, remember fine. that we got Okay, all right, all right, all right, whatever. Yeah, all right, y'all lucky. Next week. <laughs> all right, yeah, all next right. week, y'all go So, So be ready. The topic for this week is, are you single until... You are married. Now, some people may not understand the question. Basically, we're saying like, do you do married shit? Married shit when you're not married, as far as like cohabitating, um, just as far as like um, checking in, uh, taking on somebody else's bills, whatever. Like, do you split shit when you're not even committed? Like, is it fair to? Be committed to something that can be done at any second. Because mm. in a marriage, there's more to lose if you should decide to walk away. When you're when you when you're not like legally married, it's like, all right, I'm doing all of this. You can roll out at any given minute. Right. There's no commitment. Value. There's no commitment. Like there's no like like what hold you. So what I say is, um, I can't. I wouldn't use the term single until married. Obviously, I'm in a relationship, so I'm not gonna say like I'm single till married. I'm not single, right? Um, what I will say is like. I'm trying to figure out what are the pros and the cons to doing that. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, obviously, shacking you gotta up get to know a, somebody. Shacking up is technically a sin. You know what I'm saying? It is. Like, it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, there's things we do. also get having sex before marriage is, is a, a sin. sin as well. Like, real, real shit. Like, you know, and like, obviously, we're all I in this podcast. A <laughs> I'm probably gonna sin, sin again. <laughs> Lord, <Savage> forgive me. <laughs> Oh, forgive me. It's the, that was nice little unison we did there. Um, but all that to say is, like, you know, obviously everybody here um, I know to be spiritually aligned to some degree, right? So, like, you know, obviously we're all trying to pick up our faith and always stay close to God. But, like, there's things that we do do 
that technically it's a reason why it's put into that Absolutely. stature. Like, you know, no Absolutely. shacking up, no sex. And then we go further into like a millennial age where it's like, you know, oh, it becomes like a territorial thing too, as well as like, okay, well, we're in a relationship, so you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. So what do we say for marriage? And and if you if it is a territorial thing, then why have you not marked your territory yet? Ooh. I so like I mean that. Like, so is marking your territory just having to be legally bonded to somebody? I feel like it's making that formal commitment in front of, under God, under oath. I mean, not everybody gets married with the ring. Even if you go down to the courthouse or even if you just, you know, you have somebody, a preacher come in or whatever, however you want to do it. And you take that oath, like for better or for worse, sicker or right, poor. Right, right. Rich, like, yeah, it doesn't like, matter. So, yeah. Honestly, though, as as woman, do y'all will, will y'all ever be okay with that? If somebody was like, "Let's just go down to the courtyard to make this," yeah, I'm gonna wedding I was, I was going However, to yeah, do that sure. with my baby father because yeah. I was just like ready for that. I'm right. like, I really don't care about the wedding and all that. We can celebrate when we have it together, but for now, like, it's it's more important than that. The celebration yeah. for me, honestly, yeah. is just like that's for the a people. bonus. Like, yeah, yeah, it's that's like, for the people for but real. the actual commitment that's between yeah. us and God. Yeah, mm. real. I didn't yeah. care if nobody was there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. Huh. Um, <laughs> right, that sounds good. I mean, right, I'm just, that, that, it sounds good. No, no, let me, no, I let, let me clarify. No, I, 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 I want a dream wedding. Before we broke up, I want a dream no, wedding. But the commitment honestly, is more important than the dream wedding. Before we broke me. up, I yeah. was going to marry him. Yeah, I'm through prison. We got the paperwork and everything, but yeah. then when COVID happened, can't yeah. do it. So, mm. man, you a real one. I, I mean, he messed that up, guys. Shout out to him. How did he mess that up in jail? You'd be surprised. Like, so it's, was, what the it fuck? was because Wait. so, <laughs> and that's what I mean. No, seriously, because that's what I mean. He wasn't talking to anybody else or anything like that. It was nothing like Jay that. Because Jay thinks the only time to mess up is, is an infidelity. It's not Absolutely that. not. We're fully committed to each other in that aspect. However, it like that's what I mean. Like single until married. When we talking a lifetime commitment with commitment with somebody, you got to be. I got to be responsible for whatever comes with you at mm -hmm. that point. Now it's on me. So. Yeah. He got into a fight in there and it hurt my feelings. And it also was disappointing because I'm like, look, I'm doing everything I can to hold things down on this end. You're, You're already trouble. in trouble. I already tried to help you get out of trouble and which put me in a worse position at this point. I mean, to marry someone and we're not on the same page as far as trying to better ourselves. If I take that commitment, that's going to be on me. Not saying that I don't ever want to marry him, but I don't want to marry him right now because yeah. I feel like he's not ready. Not yeah. me, even though he he proposed and all yeah. of that it's like all right i would be a fool to accept you when i know you're not at your best and if i do accept you when you're not at your best i'm enabling you because just because you are that type of person not saying like we can't help each other get better when it comes to certain things but like self-control that's not something that i can because you could lose all my stuff just off of your lack of self-control and we share a child together so it's like if you can't stay out of trouble while you're in trouble right you're not ready right. nah man well i'll just say let's pray that he gets Come home soon, yeah. man. That's yeah. What was that on nobody? Uh, I don't think. Um, you know, are you single until married? I mean, I don't think so. Like, I think it's just very or or the details behind it, not necessarily the statement, because like I don't believe you. Obviously, you're single. I'm in a relationship. Obviously, I want to be in one. But like, if when I you guys file your taxes, right? When We're you not... check on a paper, but I feel like is it like that? that's got to yeah. be for a reason. Your expectation from people is it like? I mean, the saying goes like sometimes I've heard it. You're expecting husband things from a boyfriend. You're expecting wife things from a girlfriend. And right. sometimes I feel like we are let down because you have that expectation. It's just like you're not there. And I don't know, though, but it's a slippery slope because, of course, when you're in a relationship, you want to build up to those things. So it's like, what type of foundation are you instilling? But you know what? Not everyone does. I think some people hmm. are in it for the convenience. And I think that's unfair. That's why I say, like, I feel like, you know, women, of course, propose to men all the time, but typically Wait, well traditionally what? no women do propose i've to seen men. it i've seen I it maybe they post it no, no they, they really post it remember they when really chrissy tried to propose to jim Joe, jones she was yeah. serious she was even though she's, yeah so i she feel like bring everything but she i feel like us. traditionally though the Men's man so it's like right. the man marks his territory so that's why i say like when is the man ready to mark his territory because there are situations where men will be with a woman for years she's done everything and then they break up and then one month later the man is engaged. Like, remember Rihanna's last boyfriend? They were together for a hot little minute. They broke up, and a month later, he was getting married. So it's like, is it just... I didn't even know that. 
it's like, are you wasting time? Is that not the person that you know, but it's convenient? Or do you want it to be and it's not there? How do you move on and then boom, you're already ready? Right. So is it is it like more so like, okay, let's take out all the bells and whistles, the weddings and those things. Mm-hmm. If we're doing marriage things, should we get married? Because my, my only thing is like, when I hear that statement, I be thinking like, all right, so people like, it's like a test trial. Like it's like almost like a test run. But it's like, how far do you need it? Like, because even when you what go you buy a car, see? how you much only do you really need to go, see? They only yeah. let you test drive around the block. Yeah. Then you commit to it. Yeah. You got a finance. You got yeah. You know what I'm saying? Either so you want like, it or you don't. Because yes, somebody else don't. is gonna come buy it. We got to get it off the lot. It's right. The same thing. It's the same. It's, it's low key the same thing. Only because it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, all right. For example, like you're in a, like you're in a relationship. Y'all have done everything. Y'all have lived together. Mm-hmm. Y'all have slept together. You may have bills. Everything. Like you're you're. You're like, in unison. Like, you're, you're in unison, like, in everything. So it's like, do we still put that on, like, oh, I'm waiting for my finances or I'm waiting for this? But it's like, you're already doing everything anyway. For, Why are you it, waiting for the finances? If it's for richer or for poorer, then I'm It doesn't confused. matter. Your finances should And you know what's crazy? Work, the number real. one divorce reason is finance. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just think, again, like, it depends because women, we talking about traditions, right? Like, women always want this wedding. Women want this ring. So it's like, yeah, like you have to wait. Like for, well, I can only speak for me. Like for me, it's like I'm waiting because I want to get some debt out. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to pay some debt. I don't want to buy finance or not. You know what I'm saying? Finance a ring, put that on top of my debt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like wedding, put that on top of my debt. It's like trying to get a house, put that on top of my debt. Me is just I'm trying to be strategic, right? So I feel like it's the same way with. with but do you have like, that conversation? Um. Well. Um. Or does it have to be a surprise? Like, nah, well, I mean, kind of, I guess you can have that conversation. So what if, what if it was normalized where it's like, all right, well, look, I want to marry you. I want to get the ring. I don't want to do that, but I want us fully committed. So let's go to the courthouse. Is that not a thing that can be normalized in a I mean, way? I, I, like, I, and then we I can do the other part when it's there. I never even knew women was okay with it. I, because, like, mm-hmm. I never even had that comment. I never. Right. I actually, I actually, actually have it. friends mm-hmm. that that have gone to the court. I do a YouTube show, the Jasmine Jasmine show. My co-host, she was with her dude for years and they went to the courthouse. Yeah, I was going to say, my, my one of my OGs actually recently. She put on a dress and everything, the, but yeah. they just went to the courthouse. Pandemic yeah. right now, they, they got married. They just went to the courthouse, no yeah. reception. And no now anything. everything's on Zoom. You yeah. can't even have like a yeah. real wedding. One of my friends so. uh, went in on the 7th is on Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like it's that's a new thing, like that that the cultural cultural norms are being yes. reshifted nowadays. Yeah. So like people are going to courthouses and and doing stuff like that. But I mean, I feel like it, it boils down to what works for you. And if you feel like it's a case by case situation, right. like you have to look within yourself and be honest with yourself. Right. Right. Um, because I feel like there is a burden that comes because when you get married, you are marrying the other person's everything financial baggage. everything All credit baggage. everything that bad. comes with it so it's just like i mean but if you're not but, married you're still it's like so then do you really do you, you are you really for, committed honestly. to me because yeah it's like all right so you're taking it on anyway yeah it's not fair it's like i'm you're doing kinda taking it on yeah anyway. it's like I, I don't get it it's like if i'm here and we're doing this then if you don't want my baggage then you need to leave <laughs> i mean or it can be preparation to to fixing it right like y'all can have both have baggage and y'all can be cleaning out the closet together like mm. you could be working on your finances i can be working on, on our finances so we don't get together and be one big shit show you know yeah. what i'm saying like right. it could be that um i just think it's a perception you know what i'm saying so in an aspect so i'm gonna take this a little left because so my question is you know because i've seen a couple people i know that's getting married and like they're like i gotta get this out the way before i get married Good. like like okay so one of my male friends is getting married he's like bro we're gonna we're gonna do this i think i should his conversation was he thinks he's a fuck another bitch before he's married then i don't think and he's i ready. know and i know I, not that i know i feel like i've heard men say that before it's well, not my that, first time hearing the that bachelor bachelor like, parties we don't know how odd they get on each right, end yeah, so you don't it's, know there's a reason so for is it. that like so when it's like you're single to you marry so like why do why is that a conversation I mean, like there's some things that you can it's some things that you can forgive before marriage. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that you are single because I like I don't think that's true. However, right. it's some things because, again, it's not under oath or like not legit. But for lack of better words, it's just like some things you can forgive. Not saying that you should and it shouldn't. It's just like some things that you probably can get off and be okay. Not okay, but like is that can a be mental forgiven thing? for. Because it's yeah. real. Because a lot of times, like for example, say these men go through it. Like yeah, and your bitch find out. And now she don't want to get married no more. Right, yeah. Is it is really it worth it? Worth it? And then it's like, what is the point? Because you 
are about to fuck somebody and then it's like what are you what is that what if you what are you gonna like decide like oh never mind this pussy was so, so good, good i'm I not gonna marry be- this right, pussy right, like right. what right like what is that about like i don't understand no nah, facts i mean i don't know you got something to say alex oh no nah, i'm just sitting here thinking like that would be wild. Like you, you, you hit a joint right before your marriage. You're like, nah. This, I feel this, like I've heard that story. I, I feel like I've heard that story before. Like, 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 nah. I feel like I've heard that story before. I have too. Or like even or men honestly, deal with you know what I'm To be like, honest, I'm mad at my man. I've heard of. Because why would you I've do that heard, to me? I've heard of men like doing shady shit with somebody who's at the wedding type Damn. shit, and then they be like, last night, a blah 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 out of nowhere, and it's like. I object. I object. <laughs> right, wedding <laughs> over. Y'all didn't see the video where no. the it was recent. Yeah, I seen it. And yeah, he ain't even, my man ain't even turn around. He didn't even turn around. The yep. lady, he had a whole nother child, and the lady ran up while they were taking their vows and was like, "Oh hell no! Like I know you ain't woo 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 when you was just fucking me and your son." Yeah. And and her the sister fought the girl who showed up like you gonna do this at my sister's wedding or my mother's wedding. It was her daughter, but it's just like damn. Imagine. You're getting ready to marry someone and you don't even know that they have a whole child out there. That's crazy. Yeah, Sheesh. so. But can you forgive that? Do you can, still go through right, it? Right. Do you still go through with it? Like, at that for point. For better or for worse. For better or worse. Not yet. Because yeah, we're still single. Not yet. Like. It's case by case. And then also, I also feel like I wanted to ask the men, like, as far as, like, someone putting, giving you an ultimatum, like, is that pressure or is it like, I don't like it fair i don't like ultimate i mean i think it's like it's definitely pressure but i always say that like you know i'm saying like when you get when you give an ultimatums it makes you choose what you want and i'll be telling girls that like man like if you want to if you really want a man you gotta give them an ultimatum because a lot of girls get in in the, in the friend zone for not giving men ultimatums. ultimatums yeah so it's like it just it depends on what you want like how stern it is how stern you are and what you want um that's just what i think um yeah, Let's like. get into the shits, man. Uh, taking one for the team. Ah, relationship and being single, like you know, single. Mean? The single, the single conversation can be had easily because, like, no, no, I think it can be had. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of us is like, you know, we we was. I know I was. I was like too. I don't know, arrogant. <laughs> like I wasn't that guy about to take one for the team. <laughs> okay, so when I you say, say take one easy. for the team, all right, so what do we mean by yeah. take one for the team? Elaborate in, in a so. single no. situation, or what do we mean? Like, yeah, I mean, like, so, like, like I feel like there's a case. like I feel like it's really a lot of ways it could go. To be honest, like yeah. I feel for the single way, it's like, oh, yo, I'm trying to talk to this girl. She with her friends. You know, can you entertain her, her friend. friend? That's but not. I also feel like, but it also could be like, oh. Listen, my the girl I'm whatever whatever is about to get mad. Can you step in and be like, oh, this, is, this is what's going on, so that it's like taking one me. for the team. You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're Like, mm-hmm. be the fall guy right. type the fall shit. Guy. Yeah, be the fa- but that's kind of what I was gonna say for in a relationship aspect. Like, like for example, say I don't know, you go out with a group of your friends, and one of your friends do something. They like, yo, you don't tell my yeah. man. Like, woo, woo, woo. like what is Taking one for the team. Where what do you is, draw the line? Where do you with that? draw the line with because it gets messy. The, the line, especially it like should be a even, line. even with the single friends. So like, all right, say, you know, I'm like, all right, can you come entertain this dude's friend because he ain't the cutest and right. you gonna like him, but I really like his friend and he's always with him. With the, right. It's like, right. all right, then say, <laughs> you're like, listen. Yeah. You know, and then now the guy I like is like, well, well not about to come yeah, because, it's like, like then our friendship is on the rocks now because I'm like, like hold bitch. up, you know I like this dude. <laughs> right. All you had to do was sit there and just be nice, and you couldn't even do that. I feel like it gets messy. Man, look, I give y'all an example of taking why. I mean, <laughs> take one for the team if you want to, but shit. That's why you're, there's you're, a reason why the, I don't take one the for the take, team. Oh, I was gonna say, are you hell no, nah, not no more mm-hmm. after this. Has situation, anybody ever been mad at you for not? I mean, they better not be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I use something funny though. What if you the one that has to be the, the ticket team. one for the team? Like, what if that's you? Like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that like, hurt how does that work? I'm a lone. No, I'm no. a lone wolf. Oh, you mean you're the ugly friend? <laughs> yeah, like, Aww. what if like, yo, you want to take one for the team, bro? Like, she cool, but like, I mean. I, I gotta be the ugly. Uh, I'm the ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, don't take what one. What happens if you find that out? Don't take one for the team for me. Be hurt. Like, <laughs> just go home. I'll go home. Like, if y'all want y'all to think, like, I'll just leave. Like, <laughs> you know what's up. Look, what if they. Both of them, look, bro. Like, what, just, right. what if they. 
what if they get into it in front of y'all? And you're like, and that's why I'm not, and you got my friend sitting here with this ugly ass nigga, and this is how you acting, and you're like, where? Right. You're, you like, you're like, oh my God, can you believe that? And everybody's looking at you like, uh, it's you. you right. <laughs> Damn, I would be heartbroken. But, but nah, man, I just feel like, uh, like I think it's, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't, because it's, it's other things I take for the team for my friends, you know what, what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, probably. A charge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, yes. like little things like, yeah, it could be a charge but outside of girls. And even inside of that situation, like it's times where like you probably walk up to a girl and try to like warm it up. Like, yo, hey, he wants you. Not. Like right, that's right, taking right. on that's for the a, team. I mean, like, like a wingman. That's yeah. different. Like, I feel like that's different than taking on for the team. Because I feel like when you're taking on for the team, ugly, you're on the other end. Mm, <laughs> yeah. you know, no, because look, see, the thing about it is if you know you're going into it and it's just wingman, like in this situation, after the conversation is done, I'm done. Right. Mm -hmm. That's different. Whereas the situation I was going to break down to you was like 18, 19, a long time ago. I drove. Alex was that was like some last year. <laughs> yeah, that was last year. No, <laughs> 25, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but I drove, went down to the campus, got there. They was amping me up. Yeah, Shardy feeling you. Da, 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 da. I get there. I was like, what she look like? It's a Friday situation. Cool. Like, no, 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 like, she cool. Like, she cool. I look like, like Janet Jackson. Jackson. I see everybody. Like Jackson. The fucked up thing is, she came in last. So, you know, I'm ready. I'm just like, sitting there. And you would have thought she was in, in Atlanta. And I was just like, huh. She's a grown ass I man. I ain't fucking with none of y'all niggas no more. Like, y'all niggas. You know why? So, what are you doing in that situation? Yeah. No, but meanwhile, because, you know, I you took one for the team and I'm driving, so I can't leave. You know what I mean? I'm buying it. So, I'm in the room. And I would have got so mad. On that. Nobody would have had a ride home. You know how you've been seeing the memes of like <laughs> you sitting on the edge of the bed? That was me. I was <laughs> so, <laughs> What I will say is, I think, um, so what happens is it's about perspective. Everything is about perspective. It's things, like I've quote unquote taken one for the team, but I ain't taking one for the team. What no. I mean by that is, right? Like y'all might, it might be a group of us or whatever. And then like, if you trying to do your thing, I might talk to you, but we ain't about to do nothing. That's like, what I'm I gonna said, keep, exactly. like you're going to keep the conversation. You're going to be tight because like we're going to have this conversation because I'm trying to let my man get, do his thing. We, we talking about slavery but, tonight. We talking yeah, we about anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we ain't about to like, no. nah. Like, so what if the girl is exactly. super annoying and that's she's fine. pressing up on no, that's you? That's cool. I'm going to take one. I'm going to take, I'm going to take it on the chin because that's my homie. I'm going to let him do his thing. But at the same time. Like we mm. hug, we give hugs. But on you this know side. why? But you know why? You, you <laughs> know why? You, you know why? I, I don't think I, I wanted to take one. For, I would never take one for the team. Like far as doing anything, because then like your friends know. You know what I'm saying? Like are we talk about is like men always got like a, a, a ugly body or two, right? But those exactly. ugly bodies nobody know about. Like she's coming on like two, three in the morning. She's leaving at like four in the morning. Like I'm not telling my friends. You know what I'm saying? So, but we've got to take one for the team. Everybody know. So exactly. like, nah, you're not about to embarrass me like that. <laughs> like, no, I'm not taking it. I just have to be the first. Look, as soon as you see a group, if you're like, all right, you just pick the one that you're <laughs> first. So like, I feel like, so like with women, like me personally, I have a hard time pretending. So like, yeah. I'll agree to it and I'll be like, all right, I'll hang out. I see that. It'll, oh, it's going to be a group. You'll be fine. Okay, cool. And then when I get there and then the niggas be trying to like talk to me or something, I just be like, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. like I'm just dry and I'm just like, I'm ready to go. So, you know, that's a good point. You know what I want to go into real quick? I'm sorry, this segment, y'all. Why niggas can't take hints? Oh, yeah, they like, can't. I feel like niggas like, hold up, no. hold up, but let's be like, real. Let's know. be real. Some girls can't take no, hints No, girls either. too. No, it's women and girls. It's like, like, do you, do you not get it at all? <laughs> like, it's like. Like uh, uh, somebody will be talking to you sitting there like in your phone like the whole time like not even listen to them they be like but they still like but yeah but, so like it's like but bro, why do I feel like, talk to you I feel like, like niggas love a challenge but though. not like, even that yeah, 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 but why, it gets beyond a challenge why, at why, that point but why leave you're not even on? in the game like, why not just be <laughs> well, like what if you're not leading them on what if you're, what if literally, you're literally just like and you're not trying to be rude like you're doing everything other like I'm like not leading you on at all because I've seen that so many times like it don't even I feel like. Like, like you said, like guys like a challenge, but it's like, wow, what do you want? Sega Genesis 52? Like, what, what, what are we they doing? What? Type of challenge? 21. It's me versus me. If you know That's somebody, it. if you know somebody is like into you, right? Is it being rude to just be honest and say, hey, I know that you like probably like me or like you think it's something. Honestly, not, like, I feel like even in those instances, it doesn't let up. It's, it's, it's like the nigga who be like, I got a boyfriend, so I could be your friend. Like, shut the fuck <laughs> or, up. Like, or it's when you be like, <laughs> so you try to be like, all right, so. Uh, my boyfriend's getting on my nerves. Like, what should I do my, my, about my boyfriend? And they're like, oh, man, you should do this X, Y, Z, woo, woo. And then a week later, they're like, oh, man, you look beautiful in that dress. You should let like, me take you out because your boyfriend's playing games. It's like, man, that's, that's not what I meant. Remember the last, <laughs> Leave me alone. Back the last time, niggas be putting their bid in. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like even like, I 
feel like even when you say it, like niggas don't care. Like you could say like, nah, I'm good off. Like I'm the, yep. like, all right, cool. Yeah. So you want to go to like, yeah. this? It's like, bro, no, like I already told you. And now it's like, now it has to force you to be mean. And I think that's where like women get called like mean or like these things because it's a like, bitch. like a, a bitch. Now like if you're bitch. like very straightforward and because they're like, and then you're they don't want to get it. You're Cause I feel up. like I've seen like girls and guys, I feel like some people just don't want to get it or they think like, Oh, they're just, you know, yeah. right now, but I could change they're their mind. Hard to like get. I can change their mind. <laughs> no, they don't like, like it's me. like, no, I see that shit so often, bro. Even like with some of my friends, like I'll see like, I be like, damn, bro, like you can't like. It's, so what else does she gotta say? Like, some people can't handle. I think like, it's a different conversation. So like, where, how you handle rejection? Wh- where's the line where somebody is giving hints and you're asking them, you're trying to pull it out of them, like, look, this is is, is this. <laughs> what it is or what it's not and they're still giving you great answers like what is that what do you mean like if i'm saying to you like look if you don't like me can you just tell me that <laughs> and you're like telling me everything but that and i'm like all right oh, but you're like, not you know what i mean like like like, like, like well, okay and now because we will play here right so so okay so i'll be like i'll be like hey alex you want to grab some lunch today i'm and, busy <laughs> right, and I'm like, okay. So tomorrow, I'm like, hey, Alex, you want to grab some lunch today? I'm busy again. I'm like, all right. So November 13th, <laughs> do you want to grab some lunch? You're a really nice girl, and I appreciate you. Okay, but I don't think what you're looking for, I can provide it. No, time. see, oh, that's, that so no, sweet. see, so no, that's the answer. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, all right. Say you're like, I'm busy, but you keep on still talk to me. So I'm like, all right, listen, Alex. You've been busy for lunch three times now. Three months. <laughs> three <laughs> years. years. Am, I, am I wasting my time? Yes. No, first of all, if you, how many years? Uh, well, I'm just, years. I'm just, I'm being, I'm exaggerating. You're wasting your time. I'm, I'm, like, you're wasting your own I'm, time. I'm exaggerating. People, waste people do it. People you do it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. So is at this point, and I'm, and you're like, oh, nah, baby, I'm just full. I just say, that's all. It's like, God damn like it, nigga, just say job it. Are y'all scared say yes. to say it? Nah. Have y'all ever been scared to tell a girl I'm not interested in you? It's pressure to let somebody down. Like you yeah, said, is. like, why don't you just be it straightforward? Is. Especially because if you're cool with them. What about if you're cool with them? And what, what if, if you like do fuck friends, with them, like, but you I don't like that? What do you do? Honestly, I think, it's funny because I had to do this recently, but, um, I think for if you really care about the person, then you just got to, it's not, it's not cool to leave them on because that's when we were having a conversation of what a fuck boy is. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And young Alex was a true fuck boy. And then, you know, you have to learn from it because sometimes you want to give, you don't want to hurt people's feelings, but I rather we have the conversation now and some feelings might be hurt. than I lead you on and down the line. So have you okay, ever, so have what you ever done it the other way though? Young oh, you Alex definitely young, did. Okay, yeah, okay, I I did. Okay. What about you do that? Right. You like, I fuck with you. Da, 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 and they're still like, all right. Friday, you want to go? You want to go grab some lunch real quick? And they're keeping it. They're acting like it's friendship, but they're still they're still pursuing, they're still pursuing trying, it. Trying, like they're still me. trying to, or they're like, oh, like you're like, damn, I'm about to like, oh, I already got that for you. Like yep. just being so available, being so like, and it's like, bro, like you know, I don't want that. Like, why? Like, what do you do in think, those instances? Because I've seen that. It's not about uh, the communication. It's about the action. Because mm. like a lot of times, like when you're afraid, you'll say something, and then you still kind of moving and different like you still probably answering that text or whatever the case may be like you gotta say that and then you gotta stand on it like we talking right. about young younger self right so i remember like with times where i would say like i don't want this or i don't want to be in a relationship but still acting doing shit you know what i'm saying because i'm thinking we got an understanding nah you gotta really say it and move move in it like you mean it you know what i'm saying so like if you really don't want to nothing to do with this person tell them once and then so then you, I feel so, like so you, what if you're like your friend? He just helped me. You just helped me in current times. Yeah. I'm like, look, just be like, yo, I'm this good. is what it is. And that's it. I'm Don't good. Love, love. Well, okay, go away. So, <laughs> but I've that. seen, but I've seen this too, though. What about if that's your friend? So you dub the friendship? No, nah, I mean, yeah, if they, if they can't I respect the boundaries, yeah. I wouldn't say you're dubbing the friendship, but again, like if they can't right. respect your boundaries, yeah, like period. Like if, if, they they, if it gets you, to that point, then yeah. But like if they, you, I feel like if you feel that like any time and it's like right now, we're not, it's going to be too complete, too confusing right now. And your emotions are in the way. Like I'm going to step back because I know that me being around you is just right. going to further confuse you. you right. Love I mean? is so unrequited. It's like, usually it's, it's, what? it's so unrequited. Like okay. it's okay. like, okay. come on, English major. You already know. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like it's always, it's rare that you get two people who connect and like each other equally. I feel like most of the time it's, 
one person like somebody they don't like them back or one person like someone more it's like is it even ever equal so i'm not gonna lie to you you know what my mom told me before my mom told me find a man who loves like you more, more than you, you love them no i swear that's that's a that's a saying i've heard no it's a real I, life. actually wild because my mom said the opposite like you, your, your woman is supposed to love you more than you oh, love that's them. what oh no, that's I'm why to, no, no, I'm that's why, that's why really, nobody's getting yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure the saying out though like so what does that even really mean why do people why why is that a saying like you have to find somebody men who, or female who loves you have to find somebody who loves you more why is that a saying um, what I would say is I think, you know, when it comes to men and um, women, this goes back <clears> to my <throat> interview with the guy, Wolf, that wrote the book, um, Cheating is Not Cheating, right? <clears throat> um, so what I would say oh, is experimenting. Yeah, it's, it's, a great, it's a great book. But so what happens But can you is, just tell me what that means really quickly, cheating is not cheating? It's a it's book. perspective. It's a book. Read it. Check it out. Yeah, I support will. Him. So like what happens is what he was saying is like, you know, and it's crazy when he said it, I'm like, damn, because I was like, I was just thinking about this with my girl, right? So like he was like, women ha- have like pride issues. And men have are egotistic, right? Absolutely. So, and it's crazy because, like, I always thought men had pride issues, but I remember once one day I was like, like, why she just won't like shake off her pride? It's always like she her pride is always getting in the way. And I say to this say when it comes to like loving somebody more, you gotta find somebody. It's not about finding somebody that's gonna love you more than you love them. It's about finding somebody that's gonna be able to shake off their biggest detriment, right? So, like, your biggest that de- like for men, our biggest detriment is, is our ego, right? And I feel like or that's going to shake it off one or find somebody that's going to match it because a lot of times women don't want to build up that man's ego because they think is i don't i can't really because i'm not a woman but i feel like it's some women have a hard time building up that man's ego because they think it's taken away from them and some men i don't know like sometimes pride get in women's way or some men don't understand that sometimes you got to feed into her pride or whatever the case may be i kind of feel like though naturally like with anybody like if you big them up like it will go to their head and sometimes they might like almost like we actually were just talking about this yeah yeah, absolutely yeah just like like, take it too far or like like so something like for example we were just talking about this like how my mom used to say like like and it's a vulnerability thing too like so she would be like i don't care if you're boiling on the inside never let that nigga see you cry because he's like once he sees that he got to you never let him see you like this is just what i'm just saying like this is what I've heard, you know what I'm saying? Like, never seen, like, even, I tell my daughter this too, like, with her friendships. I'm like, never let nobody see that they got up under your skin. Right? Even so in even competition, if we it, sports, anything, anything, anything never like, let them see sweat. Because yeah. once, yeah, once you, head. like, once they know that they can get in your head, it's then almost they got like, you. They, they got you. But I'm not saw, talking, like, directly in the same aspect, but I saw that Mike, is the same I saw, on both sides. I saw Mike Tyson say um, that whenever he is getting ready to, to fight, he looks somebody in their eyes until it's time to fight and he said whoever breaks the eye contact first then i know then i know you're mentally i got, I got you yeah what i was i think is man, man, man i really think is um because that's definitely life but i think life and relationships are like totally different <laughs> it might be funny but i think i don't a lot of things i don't care about outside of my relationship like a lot of things my girl can say, like it's, it's things that my people can say and i don't give two fucks about it. then my girl say the same thing and they're like oh no nah. you know what i'm saying so i just feel like you got to find somebody that's really when it, it's, it's funny we talk about like we talk about equally yoked a lot right you got to find somebody that because that matters you know what i'm saying because when they you got they got they can recognize their pride or recognize that there's an egotistic thing and then they can you know what i'm gonna break that down myself i'm gonna i'm gonna really check myself on it um that's what i think so like yeah oh i never heard that nobody my mom's never told me about finding somebody that loves you more than yeah, them no, but my mom's definitely, i can yeah. see that but i just think you gotta find somebody that's that's gonna be Fair, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be like, that's really gonna go the distance with you and be like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a rock out with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what so. I'm does that, does that court going back to the original topic? Like, is that taking one for your team in a relationship? I, so like, as far as like really, because when you said when you said pride and ego, right? Another question on, on top of what I just asked, like, isn't that kind of like the same thing? Same like thing. An ego in thinking. regards to pride. So, so nah. So pride. <clears throat> what I think is ego is, um, you know, like, I don't know, little thing. Well, we talk, We had a conversation about um, women being submissive versus like overly independent, right? And like ego is wanting to be like wanting to feel. It's it's crazy because like I think men want the same thing women want, right? Like and it, you know they always shout out we talk about acknowledgement, right? So like ego is kind of like you want that acknowledgement, like you want to feel like you are needed, you want to feel like I'm that man. Pride is like it's funny. I read an article earlier this week, not to cut you off, but it was saying that it was called <clears throat> the heroic. I, I can't like, remember the exact. It's like something like the her, the heroic syndrome or something. It's where it's like 
if a man doesn't feel like he's a hero to you, he's going to move forward. So ego means a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's why I say right. you got to be like the that. The part of the mind up. that mediates between the conscious and the un- unconscious and is responsible for reality testing and a sense of personal identity. Right. So and ego. That's why, acknowledgement. That's what I was saying. Like, right. it's like a person, like you, you so identity. Yeah. 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 Identity. And to me, it's a, so because like ego to me is not. So ego, I think everybody has a, you know, a ego can have an ego issue. I don't even think that's from male to female. I think everybody can have an ego issue just as much as I think everybody can have a pride issue. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when I think of ego, I think of more like, like it says self-importance, like, okay, well, for example, like, no, I'm, I'm me. So you need to really do that. Cause I'm me. Like, like it's all, it's, it's a lot of self, like, you know what I mean? Like a lot of, well, I'm special. I'm special. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's cause there's times where ego is actually needed just as much as sometimes pride is actually needed. I mean, needed. I feel like, like ego, like yeah. and knowing your worth. Like, like that, knowing that, your worth. Like, okay. Or sometimes egotistic over knowing your worth and expecting everybody to deem to or bow mm-hmm. down to like, it. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. right. So that's why I got a little confused when you said, like, you know, pride and ego. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, I almost feel like, like, when you said, like, they're one and the same, I do feel like they can go one and the same. Because, like, sometimes people's egos build up so much that they're pr- too prideful to say it's my ego. So it's like in the same room, like, or it's like you can't see your ego because you're too prideful in this situation. So I think they do kind of go so how does that, hand in hand. Going back to that, like taking one for the team. How so does I that? Like, I, oops, sorry, I didn't want, like, for me, it was like if you take one for the team, like either side, like if you, let me put my pride down. I am being a little egotistic right now. Or my ego is making me too prideful. I think that's taking one for the team when you're just honest about it. You know what I'm saying? But I do think it could go either side. So yeah. I think, you know, honestly, man, I think, funny I keep saying it. I think it's really perception. Because, like, I, I think the, if, you change, if you change the way you think, you would change your life, right? So I think, like, because we look at it like it's taking one for the team, that's why our pride get in the way. Because it's, like, it's not taking one for the team. I think it's taking one for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really in your way. Like, yeah, it's going to come between us, but if anything, it's going to hurt you in, in, in the long run if you don't recognize it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they say the uh, the first step to recovery is recognition, is, is acknowledgement. Like, you got to acknowledge where you are going wrong. Yeah, what problem, if your yeah. friends right. What if your friends won't help you acknowledge where and you're going wrong? So yeah, you like, got to look at yourself. And that's what I'm saying. Like, like it ain't, I don't think it's taking one for the team. It's taking one for yourself at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's going to help us. But if you can't take that for yourself, then you can't take one for us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, what I will say is, yeah, it can be looked at as like, you know what? We're a relationship. Um, You know, I might not agree with you right now, but I'm going to just put this to the side. I'm going to put my discomfort and um, my feelings to the side because Honestly, you know what's crazy? Damn. Like you should, they say you should, you should never mix emotion with business, right? And we think we talk about marriage, right? Marriage is technically a business, right? Yeah. So a lot of times when we're in relationships, we go wrong because our emotions is getting the best of us. So if we look at our relationship like a business sometimes and put that emotion to the side for now, not saying that we got we gotta let it go away forever, but just put it put it to the side for now. Maybe we can recollect later and then come to it in a better state of mind. But a lot of times we let our emotions Overtake humans are, yeah, are decisions. emotionally driven. We let our emotions overtake our mind, and it's like, I'm going to say something that I don't mean. So I think, I, to answer your question, I don't think it's taking one for the team. I think it's just taking one for yourself. But again, once you take one for yourself, then it helps the team. I can speak from a single perspective, though. You probably can relate on this. Like, I feel like dating is difficult sometimes because of the same reason. And it's like, all right, you could, two people could really like each other. But if one person feels a way and the other person does refuses to acknowledge that they made them feel that way then right then and there it's like you can't even get into the next phase because now it's like it's not a issue it's not a question of do we like each other it's like all right are we compatible at this point because you say that i did xyz and that's why we're in this rough patch i say no i did not you need you're tripping and then it's like all right well we can't fix this no more so fuck it I feel like it it applies to like any situation to be honest. And I think um honestly I feel like we got to stop we talked about this on the podcast before like we got to stop ignoring the the signs, you know what I'm saying? Cuz that is true and a lot of times we like somebody and we because we like them, we we let out again emotions 
overshadow the things that we really don't like that we know we don't like it so like for example you get into you talking to somebody and they do something that you don't like you tell them and even though they not really agreeing with you y'all arguing but the next day you're like you know i like them fuck it ain't that serious no nah, it is that serious but see you, you know gotta, what but you know what it is you know what it is though and we talked about this earlier it's like all right it goes back to like the pride thing for women because it's like all right i almost feel like and this y'all can correct can correct me if i'm wrong because i'm not a man so i want insight it's like, all right, so I, it's hard. It's really hard. It's like, damn, I really like him, but I feel like I, I, I let my emotions overtake what I wanted to say. And now it got to here. So it's like, I want to give in and I want to hit him up and I want to say, look, all right, I went a little left, woo woo. But I feel like once I do that, then there, there's something that's some sort of, piece of you that's well, it's in some yeah. and they have some sort of it's like y'all have some sort of leverage, leverage and then it's like can it, it can it even progress from there is it worth it it's well, like well, the nobody wants to feel that way tainted is it recoverable yeah that's deep like because sometimes like even in relationships or both sides like sometimes the things just get tainted and and then it gets lost and it's sometimes it's not recoverable you know, like I mean? even if you want it, it can't to be, like, I feel like it can't it, be. sometimes you might want it to be, but it can't be because, like, maybe it goes back to that ego and pride thing. It's just like it is what it is on your end, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and on mine. Like, it's so it's like, but it's like if both, and it's, it's so stupid because it's like both people are low key hurting, foolish right, pride, right, right. and you're being ego right. narcissistic. So it's right. like both people are hurting, but it's like, damn. It, honestly i can acknowledge even for myself right now in current times like i'm not there yet like what you were saying about you gotta look at it as a, as a business i'm, I'm emotionally charged <laughs> yeah like i'm yeah, not there yet so is. it's like i can't say like i'm not yeah. willing to a lot of people everybody's protecting yeah. themselves so it's like naturally i'm not willing to even find out if yeah. you're gonna crush me and and you right. get that leverage right. and that's the thing that's why i think is different from men to women you know what i'm saying because i i feel like a lot of times in relationships, men do put a put their pride to the side for that woman. That's the like even what I was saying before. I'm like she's the only person that I'm willing to even care about things that like I'm I'm a nonchalant person, but a lot of things only matters when it comes to my girl, right? So it's like a lot of times I'm more vulnerable, um, I'm more open. You know what I'm saying? Because like that's me putting my pride to the side. You know what I'm saying? But I also feel it's like a sense of pride in addition. Like when you're in a relationship, um, ever heard of like kind of like the Tinkerbell? complex or something like I think I, no, I've where like you you I've see your that. woman as like this goddess or something oh, like that right, so you yeah. have a sense of pride so it's like you're more attached and like the way that i i see you and i view you is different from how i look at the world i may see the world may be chaos but like i know that in the heat of this moment that this relationship peace. is like at peace and it's right. a hopeful situation so i mean of course in that situation where you feel like even with a child you know like that's how you not right. Tinkerbell, but you know right. you, you look like at you your mother like that, yeah. like oh yeah. she's perfect. Yeah. And then when she does something yeah. wrong, you're like oh right. my gosh, right? So, but, so exactly. it affects you differently because right. you have that perception. But, but I think that's an issue in itself as well, just for people because, like you said, like your child, it's an innocence thing. Your mom, it's an innocence thing. But like certain things, like it's unconditional love. So when your child, your child, like like I tell people all the time, you got to get ready for your child to do something that you're just not gonna like because there's gonna be times like as they're growing up, they're gonna do some shit like. That's going to hurt you. Like, wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's an unconditional love. Like, there's things, I, you know, your mom might do. Like, it's like, damn, you were this goddess and now you done did this. Like, I can't even look at you the same, but I love you. You're my mom. I have to stick this out. I feel like when dating or relationship happens, it's like you 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 have this Tinkerbell complex. It's like, oh, this is, you know, you know, heroic men or fairy goddess woman. And then they're human. So they do something you don't like. And it's like, yeah, like you know oh my mean? gosh, and like, it's like you're, they're you're not no even longer, trying to you're hurt not, you. You're no longer even this person anymore. Like you know what I'm saying. It's However, tainted. when you're like with your kid or your parent, you 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 build that back up you because have that. You, you, yeah. just ha you're you built have, with that you're, grace. You're built with that. Sorry. It's like it's almost like in internal in you to yeah. like give them back that grace. Like because like if Amaya does something right now, it might hurt me to the core, but I'm still gonna look at her like my angel. Yeah. like in a month after but, I'm over it, you know what I mean. I feel like that's also comes with like healing over time though, because there might be reason why we there's expectations that we have for ourselves. Yeah. Based off of the the things that we've yeah. gone through, you know what I mean. So there may be like boundaries that we've set as a result. So I think being conscious and cognizant of that, and that's why I'm big on like healing and taking the time that you need to heal for whatever, even within a relationship or a single right. life. 
to take that time to really heal and, and know yourself. Yeah. Knowing so, thyself is key. I feel okay, like. so let me ask y'all this. Once you do know yourself, right, when is it hurting you to give that person, to relinquish your pride and or ego, whatever? At what point is it, is it, does it become taking one for the team? Like, at what point do, are you now hurting yourself to make this person feel comfortable? Like, right. at what point? Right. And, and is the leverage thing even real? Like, right. I'll be real as, as far as I go. Like, once I see how far I can take it with a man, it's like, mm, I almost might want to take it a little further. I'm ice skating at that point. So it's like a slippery slope. So, like, as far as y'all, like, if a woman does be like, all right, look, I do y'all almost, does it, Feed your ego in a way that is going to be detrimental or does it or does it make you have respect? Like, OK, well, this she came to me or whatever. Or does it make you feel like, oh, I got this bitch in the bag. Now I can do whatever. I mean. Good. Like I think, you ever seen some people break up and somebody has to beg the person to get back with them. And then it's like once you get them back, though, you don't even feel it. And you don't, and even the beggar don't feel the same. It's like. You almost feel like you you, you took a piece of me. Like you yeah, yeah I compromise. Yeah. Exactly. When does on it become sides. compromising yourself? Yeah. Because it's like well, on one side is like I I took you back, so I already compromise. And then yeah. the other side is like you I tr- begged to get back, so I compromise. Yeah. Like, and then it's so like both people feel kinda, like fuck you for real. Right, right. Like I can see that. I mean, sure. I don't know. I feel like um. So I ask the question again. Okay. okay. So basically, I'm asking: At what point does it become you compromising your dignity? to relinquish your pride or your ego um you know i think and do you guys really feel leverage when somebody comes back like you know how people say oh like you could you even if you say like say you hurt somebody's feelings right and you be like all right i'm sorry and the person is like all right cool i forgive you but deep down inside they don't forgive you now they start moving funny on you it's like at what point do you take responsibility too? Like, all right, I don't fuck with you no more. Right. I gotta let I you go. Yeah, right. I tried. I tried but I can't. it's like, I don't fuck with you. It's almost right. like people will, they'll pull you along because right. they want to even up the score. Like, yeah, you hurt me. I hurt you now. So it's like, how do you know when it gets to that or, point? Or even it's sometimes it's unsubconsciously. Subconsciously. Like sometimes they, like, people don't even know. It's like, but they really be mad at you for real. Yeah, they but they'll say they're like cool. No more, but they, yeah. they're cool. Like, they think they can, they're still attached they're to still, you and they think they can get past it. But realistically, they can't. Right. And then it's like, at what point? Like, whose fault is it now? Like, yeah. So, like, well, like, well, so what is the question? So the, I'm saying, like, at what point are you compromising your, your dignity, dignity. Yeah. Okay, in so. order to make something work? And and when you are on on either end, at what point does it become your responsibility of our all right? This ain't this ain't this is toxic. Like, so, this isn't right. So, so I'm asking your second question first is is always your responsibility to, to recognize, right? Like to acknowledge what situation you're in. Is that easy? No. You no. Know what I'm That's why we need therapy and things like that Um, to answer the second point. But to, to go to the point, the first point, um, at every point. And what I mean by that is like, it's, it's things that you're not going to like a lot. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to dignity, it's kind of like pride. You, you have to put humility first. Humility always is over dignity. And I say that because, like, you got to humble yourself to understand that, you know what? Yeah, this is prideful. This is me, and I don't want to. But at the same time, let me step down. Let me let me really take a seat, step back and understand But are you, that. are you really even going to be able to unsee it? Like, whatever they did, can you really even unsee it? Yeah, I mean, well, that's then, I feel like at that point, if you feel like you can't unsee it, then you, that's, when I, you gotta, that's your so point. You know, that's the point yeah. right there. Shout out to Chad Bozeman, right RP there. again. I seen a, something he said um, in an interview, and um, it was floating around, and he was like, my responsibility is really to find people who I can love, not who can love me. Mm. Because, and I think that really applies to just like so many things, relationships mm, and friendships and everything. Like, I think the real focus is like finding every way to love people or your person. You know what I mean? Because at that point, even yourself, it's, even yourself, because at right. that point, it's more so you keep it in the love range. Like, so it's like, I could love you. So basically, even if you let go, I'm letting go because I do love you. Yes, like, you know what absolutely. I mean? Like, or even if it comes to, I'm doing this because I do love you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, or I'm, I'm gonna let this go, not you, the situation. Cause I do love you. Or like, I think it really just like really enhancing on that love that you have for other people can just help a lot of the situations versus focusing on how, 
you love me. You know what I'm saying? Because then from there, it's like, okay, I did enough for I love you. Then it's like, okay, I love myself. So let me, for the sake of loving yeah, you as well, fall, let's, let me yeah, fall back. Me fall back. Like, I, you know what I mean? And I think in that, you loving yourself and loving other people is also like, I was always told like, not to expect me from other people. You right. know what I mean? Because you're always right. going to be let down because right. always. not everybody thinks the way that you do. So I think that boils you. down. Exactly. So that I feel like that correlates to what you just said and loving your, and loving finding people that you can love. Because it's like, if I know, I know the way I love, I know I love hard, but I'm not going to compromise that because your inability to love yeah, me the same yeah, way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I but always you say, have to be selective. I, I feel like say, and who you give that to. I always say, you know, no matter how much you love somebody or how much love you're willing to give them, always save a little bit for yourself because right. at the end of the day, you can't depend on anybody right. to love you. If you love yourself, I feel like then the love that you're giving out is able to be reciprocated because sometimes we find ourselves in positions where we are, somebody is loving us in right. their way, but it's almost feels like, well, it's not good enough yeah. because I love right. myself in this way. Right. So it's like always just, Save a little, little bit, bit of love for yourself, for yourself mm -hmm. just in case. Yeah. Because right. not everybody is entitled to love you back either. I think right. people have to understand that too. Right. Like you right. said about right. taking a hint. Like yeah. some people have to re realize right. like, look, yeah. not everybody is going to like me back. Not everybody's going to love me back. And that's okay. But I don't have to beg this person or chase this person and lose my dignity. Yeah. I just have to understand, like you said, like this person is not for me. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, um, man, that's, I think that sums down. that up. Yeah. 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 All right, let's get into the shits now, man. Um, Let's get straight to it. Alex. Okay, wait. Be... First, we got to do Trump taking one for the team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I heard about that, but I didn't really see it. But go ahead. Okay, so it was so, like an alleged cool. type of situation where well, um, Sarah Sanders in her memoir, uh, her book drop, we're not mm -hmm. going to tease it though. She ain't paying us no bread, but. She wanted that she could send an email to the Gemini Scorpio podcast. I mean, right? we yeah. like it though, because we didn't plug some books. <laughs> I was gonna say, we plug some books. But at the Gemini Scorpio podcast. I, mean, <laughs> I got this Instagram. from the Gemini Scorpio you know podcast. Saying? You know, yeah, yeah, listening yeah, yeah, yeah. to the Gemini Scorpio but, podcast, um, I got this book. Nah, facts. Because uh, basically, he she said in She's her memoir that Donald Secretary Trump. Yeah, State, former secretary. Right? Press secretary. Press secretary. Um, okay, and sorry. And she said that during a trip to North Korea, that he told her to take one for the team after Kim Jong un, who is the. Supreme leader of North Korea allegedly winked at her. So I mean, uh, do men have any self control? Why are we but honestly, having this meeting not, and you're winking at me? Well, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit funny because I don't think that he meant it in that way. You know, you'd be uh -oh. like, go ahead and take one for the team. Like it's almost a joke, but I think like, but I didn't read all of it because I know some of it was saying something about like he mentioned something about her husband and her kids. I don't know what that part said, but I thought at first like he was just like, Y'all know Trump has no filter. I think he meant like Oh, because you know the beef between him and Kim Jong Un. So I think he kind of meant like, "Hey, take one for the team, sis." But I don't think Save he meant country. it like that. Yeah, right. That's <laughs> I mean, what that's I think one, he meant. That's one hell of a big team. Like, take one until, for the until, until 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 one for your country. Up, like, shit. we're the team. So. But, like, yeah, but then once like, he heard his feelings, exactly, and then it's over because right. you know we emotional too. Like, shit, you heard his feelings, it's done. We, we're definitely he's gonna bomb us. Yeah, don't even like, don't even. I don't even. Don't even dabble. But okay, we're talking about politics here. Is this? verbiage even appropriate appropriate right now for the politics this is like the leader of the free, this is the like come on we're world. not talking about you know what i mean I like it's a little work <laughs> meeting and we're like talking it. about a meeting for the country like <laughs> it's, it's a new what, age man it's this is day. definitely showing some new age bullshit because again why are y'all at the meeting winking at each other well, well, would you feel offended if trump said that to you yes i would <laughs> like what the fuck you mean take one for the team fuck you run your country i want to blame okay that. I want a blink check for that statement. That's all. Run me uh, my bag. I think she's. I think. I think she's. Run me my bag. I think <laughs> she's. I think she's in the process of that. Right. Run me my bag. Yes. Ah, uh, disturbing. Hey yeah. man, can we say shout out to Tyler Perry, man? Who comes? Yeah. No. yeah. So Tyler Perry there. has become started a from the bottom. Now we here. He was homeless. Real. Yeah. No, but shout out to what he said though, because um, there was an interview that he came on. He said the reason why he is a billionaire is because. Of the support of black people, and mm -hmm. he he made it Real. very clear and apparent Real. that like he is yes. where he is because of black people. But a reason why this topic is important, uh, I feel like, is because taking the road that's the, the taking the road that's less traveled, and um, on his path, he could have compromised himself. I feel like, yeah, and, you know, but he stayed true to his vision. Yeah. And um, I mean, he may have innovated it along the path, like you know, yeah. some way somehow, but because he stayed true to his vision, he owns everything yeah he owns all his movies his shows in that yeah. regard i respect this man so much and i'm gonna be real with y'all 
I'm not necessarily a fan of his movies, but one day I was having a conversation with my mother and she made a good point. White people put out stupid, goofy movies all, all the, the time. time. It's and they don't get ridiculed. They still support. They still yeah. go see these people are still in well, major. It's not films. corny. It's not yeah. cor- right. So right. it's like, all right, I'd rather support some yeah. black bullshit than some white bullshit. Yeah. And I want to just say, like, the reason why I really became like a Tyler Perry fan is because of what he does outside of work. Like he gives back a lot. And I I remember when the guy who was a former actor, Gary, um, Owen. Gary uh, not Gary. Owen, no, sorry. it's something along that, that line. Yeah. Owen. He was working at a grocery store back in groceries yeah. and people made a video of him clowning him. And Tyler Perry gave him a job again. Right. And he yeah. didn't just say it for social media. He put the man back in movies. And I just feel like, that's the type of camaraderie yeah. we need as yeah. black people in general. So I salute Tyler Perry. Give him his flowers. I love what he's doing. I think that he is definitely a legend. somebody for he's people. A legend. Like people don't want to say he's a legend. He's, he's a, a legend. legend. People need to give him they his need flowers. to give him his flowers. Um, you know, shout out to Tyler Perry. You know, he's very you know, tasteful. I, I've never seen him do anything distasteful. Honestly, right. Right. Um, and it, uh, down to the plays. The actor's name was um, Jeffrey Owens. Jeffrey yeah. Owens, Jeffrey Owens yeah. yes. D- down to the plays, down to the endless movies. Some of them are ridiculous. The wigs, all that. Shout out to him because honestly, who's doing it like that? Hold up, but see, this is what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all have ever seen Mrs. Doubtfire with Robin I love Williams. Mrs. Doubtfire. I do too. Yeah. R. But R. how come Robin when Robin Williams. Williams does it, it's not coonery, but when oh, Tyler Perry cool. Does Medea? It's coonery, right? Well, but the thing is, I don't want to take away from him too because I feel like he still does get a lot of love for his movies. It's like my mom, lo- Amaya, loves Tyler Perry movies. Like a lot of people do. Like but a lot of people a also however, say it's coonery. But however, uh, R.I.P. to uh, what's his name who plays Mr. Delphire? Robin Williams. Robin, Robin Williams was- is dead. I, yeah. What? yeah. Yeah. Oh, he committed like, suicide, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, R.I.P. Yeah. to him. Okay. Um. However, I do feel like I feel like he got ridiculed a little bit too. I feel like he got ridiculed a little bit too because I I remember seeing something of just like being called gay and those things too. And it I don't know what side of the culture it was on on which side, but I feel like everybody who any man like. Like I'm even like with white chicks, I feel like they got ridiculed. They get ridiculed for doing like ridiculous stuff sometimes too. Like I just feel like. When it comes to any man I feel who like dresses Tyler, as woman, I, feel, I like, feel like it can always have some distastefulness to it to a lot of people. But I feel like Tyler Perry's is more like, I mean, I, I've heard a lot of people say that his stuff is coon stuff. I see mm-hmm. some people smiling and shaking their head. I think they might. Yeah, I don't feel know. That I, way. I, I, I know mean, a lot of Tyler Perry supporters, so I can't. I can't really see. I know to a that. lot of people so, who are like you. Y'all never heard of yeah. anyone. Yeah, I'm good. not gonna say I never, ways. but I've I've heard both. Like I'm, I know my family per se fans of Tyler Perry. Okay, well, like, I you know, know what I'm saying. Even I've yeah. seen like an episode of Blackish where they compared him doing this commercial that was like, um, it was just degrading. Like you know what I'm talking about, don't you? It was degrading, and they compared it to Tyler Perry's movies, and you know, Blackish is. You like, know, real, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and they yeah. literally compared it to a Tyler Perry movie, and it was just like, damn, you like know what I'm saying? So what I will like say is, shade. it wasn't even some subtle. Of his movies, I actually like some of them. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> I, I is just this? Think... But I really just think, like, for example, like anything you do, like for example, we have 39 episodes. There's some that people might really like. Some people might just right, be like, I, no, I ain't really fucking with that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it just really depends on your demographic and your fan base. I think that he really tailored, like, some, like for example. I feel like some of his movies are almost. It They're tries like to cliche that movies? black, so, mm. like certain things that black yeah. people do or overly do a but little too much. And it's saying. like, okay, and they call it some coonery. coonery. Because okay. there's like, they're trying to make money off of uh, a stereotype. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So that, in that, in that aspect, I've never called it coonery, but that aspect, I always said, like, all right, we could cut back on. But <laughs> that's why some people don't like blackness because they say. Yeah, but I was going to say, that's where I was going to say the same thing. I feel like I've heard that about blackish as well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll say I'd rather a black man do it than people on the exactly. outside of yeah. culture do it. Absolutely. Because like I've been seeing like even on Hulu, like they did a special on the killing of Breonna Taylor. Like, you know I mean, I mean they pull up are, anything at this people point. People are Khalif Browder. Well, that was Jay-Z. He had his hand in that. But yeah. some people are really like making, making these money documentaries. Off, uh, There's yeah. a new one with Survivor Taryn Manning where stuff. she's Karen. She's it's like, yeah, but it's I a, it's I a, didn't it's a it. thriller. It. it didn't come out yet. It's yeah. a thriller though. So, yeah. Yeah, so, so she's like the, you know, the white lady that's always like stalking her neighbors and yeah. It's just like, I honestly don't. I don't know though if that's being made by a black person. I'm not I mean, sure. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. shout out to Tyler. Perry. Yeah, let's yeah. just say shout, yeah. out shout out to Tyler, Tyler Perry, man. Yeah. He's a billionaire, man. He's getting. To-
Now this next topic right here. Go ahead, Dre. I mean, uh, that's a Dre. Jay. <laughs> uh, she's. I was gonna let um, Shade and uh. All right, I'll I'll start Dr. it off. Child, yeah. child support. I wanted. To, I'm curious. We'll call this topic child support. Now, I see Dr. Dre's wife up there, but there was a couple other people who were getting the uh, then, Eliza Rain, Future's baby mother. Uh-huh. I seen Cam Newton's baby mother asking for actually a reasonable amount. Um, so Dr. Dre, also another black billionaire or close to his wife is his estranged wife. I think the proper yeah. is she estranged? I thought That's they were together saying. for a long time. I thought so too. Apparently, but, so right, yeah, she's like, seeking two two million dollars per month in temporary spousal support. This isn't even child support. This is spousal support. So let's do a breakdown of the logistics. Yep. So she wants ten thousand dollars a month for laundry and cleaning. Fucking bonkers. Go ahead. She wants one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars a month for clothes. Nuts. Uh-huh. She wants sixty thousand dollars a month for education. Damn. She wants nine hundred thousand dollars a month. Stop right there. Sixty thousand dollars sem- uh, a year. Okay. <laughs> she wants nine hundred thousand dollars a month for entertainment. Uh-huh. I don't necessarily know mean? if people are going to be doing acrobatic circuses in her home this or is what. The funniest one for me. She wants a hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a month for charitable <laughs> contributions. So you want to donate my money? I'm, she, <laughs> hey, but honestly Monthly. though, hold up, really that's quickly, a business though. Have y'all ever peep? You write it off. That's yeah. what right. that's for. Yeah. And you know. A lot of like billionaires, like Jeff Bezos, all their wives are yeah. philanthropists. That's right. Okay. Um. She wants. Uh, that's crazy. She only wants a hundred thousand dollars a month for the mortgage. Nine hundred thousand is gone. She wants twenty thousand dollars a month for her oh cell phone and I just, email. I just want to know how big is her um her email champ at this point? Like, how big is your email list? Because like, I what are you managing? Was- you you pay for your email? I thought Gmail was free. No, right? I'm talking about so like Somebody when I say email, be... like Mailchimp is like a um, oh Mailchimp, okay, yeah, okay. that's like sends out emails. You right, gotta right, pay right. for that at a certain number. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like twenty bands a month. You must got a lot of. She contacts. must have a lot of charities, <laughs> nonprofits. Um, okay, so hold up, but hold on, hold on. So before we even bash her, which I don't agree with this, I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I think that she der- definitely deserves a lot. So I was about to go into that too. I, but, so I was. We just talk, because we just talked about the marriage thing splitting. So yeah. if Dr. Dre's expenses are superseding this, then maybe we're just not in poor. We're, we're, we're poor. We're poor. So we don't right. we're poor. What, I was, what, I, was, what I was about to say is because in that level, she may need twenty grand so, a month from emails. So to us, it looks crazy, right? We gotta ask ourselves a month. What are they? But what you gotta understand? You got we gotta ask ourselves what are they doing together? Because okay. I don't know, we don't know if they're spending so this, this type is, of money together. And if they I, are, you got to pay for that. I mean, that's what marriage is. You got to pay for that lifestyle because it's kind of like. It's our lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, you know, I don't agree with this either. However, what I did see is how Jeff Bezos' wife got praised when they got divorced and she got those millions. Mm-hmm. And now she is now being tainted. Like, why does she want so much? Yeah. Why did that go that way? And I'm not saying I agree with this, but I did notice like when Jeff Bezos' wife got all that money. It was like, oh, well, he cheated. Good for get her, it, girl. sis. You better get that coin. Like, yes, you know, she helped him build up Amazon. She was in mm-hmm. the gym with him shooting in the gym. But now when Dr. Dre's wife, who was married to him for years. And you know, we, before Beats by Dre. Be, before Beats by Dre. Now it's like, oh, she needs to get a job. Like, she's lazy. Yeah. And all that. Why is that narrative like that? I don't. That's what I didn't understand. Um, I, I don't know. So when did, um, when did she ask for a divorce? Uh, it was like a couple months ago. It's very recent. Well, I don't know how long they've yeah, been. But I also, just allegation purposes, I have also heard that like, so to me, what I thought, like, I kind of thought that way too. Like, I don't know what their finances are now and they're getting divorced and like, you know what I mean? That might not even be nowhere near half the middle. Okay. That it might, might not. Be the, not even an iceberg into it. So, let's you know, be it's, real. Let, let's be We're real. We're talking about a billion dollars here. Right. Exactly. So. I also heard like there was just a lot of domestic violence allegations between her and Dr. Dre. And it's I've a lot heard numerous, numerous domestic violence accusations against Dr. Dre in prior relationships. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know what their situation is. And I don't know, like some things are mental distress. Like at this point, like you fuck, like you fucked up not only so much in my life, like, and now basically we're divorcing. I'm not about to go with nothing. Cause I've been here and I've dealt with all your shit. Well, like what I said, entertainment, Personally, everything. what I said before, so I don't know what I said before this even came out. I said, well, 
to leave a billionaire, it got it to gotta be, be bad. bad. It has to be pretty it bad. It has to be pretty because bad. Because you can stay married and keep the lifestyle. So if you're leaving a billionaire, then it must be for a reason. And and it's for years. Right. It's for years. So we don't know so what that lady endured. I don't endured. really know. Now, granted, like, this is... But this we don't bill, know but though. I'm also poor. not. <laughs> I've never been married to a billionaire. I don't know what that lifestyle looks like. So I don't know what they were sharing. I don't know what. I don't know what they did together. You know, like, I, like I like, don't know. To segue real quick, that kind of like when I hear situations like this, though, like it really makes me realize that money can't buy happiness. Hell oh no, no. or like, love. And, and like, Hell no. Life shit. or happiness, like or love. I mean, shit. It could buy fake love. Can't it buy it love. Could, it could shit. help sustain it. It but could definitely like help you be there. happy. I truly think I, 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 Drake said you, it. Niggas with no money are like money isn't everything. Money no, is definitely. No, yeah, Kanye yeah. said Ka- having money's not everything. Not having it is. Yeah. Now that part I agree with. Yeah, but both. Like I'm saying, so I feel like money because I just tweeted this. So it's like I definitely think money can definitely. It, Help you be happy, like you can't I, buy I, happiness. I, okay, of course, I but. feel like money is definitely like we're not. It can make you happy, act like it's not. But it's needed. not about to keep friends and keep relationships. Of course I'm not. sorry, and that's where we're talking about when it comes to the relationship. And you know, I feel like at that point, like again, if I'm divorcing my billionaire, then it clearly isn't about the bread. It's yeah. clearly not about the bread. So I, well, I want, but before we even say that, um, I was gonna say like I honestly think like, and this is just I don't know because I ain't rich. But I feel like once you get past a certain amount of money, there's only but so much shit you can buy anyway. Right. So it can't all be about money. So I want to have fun with this, right? And like, it's not real fun, but I say this to say, I wanted the um, episodes to be talking about like having a business. Like Shadi was like, I expect to have a business with my partner, right? And a lot of people are saying you shouldn't have a business with your partner because relationships, right? Thinking about it, as much as men want, like, because we all want to be able to have a woman and have her not work and we take care of everything. But this is the back end of that. Right, cause she's she she she's been home and like she didn't want to work. She probably could have been making her own money, right? right? What I will say is, um, it's funny, it's weird. It's kind of like a contradiction of what I was saying before. I think as men, we need to start investing, like having a business for our woman. If we want, like, a, I'm a type of man that want my woman to be like from home. You know what I'm saying? I have to work. I take care of everything. But as men, we also have to start like investing in them for something so they can have their own. You Hold know what up. Or, but don't y'all remember when Mariah Carey's situation happened and <laughs> she sued her ex fiance for $5 million for wasting her time damn. and she won. Jeez. So it's like, I don't even know if it's just about like having your own as much as it is like, you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, damn, and she won. And, and she and, won. Yeah, the biggest part it, is she won. And she right, got to so keep I'm, the ring. And it must make sense to a degree. That's but that's why I think if, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I think we should just like start having it's crazy because that ties in having businesses together that you can take from. If 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 it happens, that's yours. I got mine. Right. Like, yeah, because yeah. I like I want to comment on this, but I'm too poor. I'm too poor to understand. Yeah, like, understand. These these expenses have, like, could be legitimate. Yeah. Um, I, like I, but, I, you know, th- she could be completely accurate. Okay, like, so let's switch it to future and his baby mother. So in future, I don't know. A what month. if they well, spending what one mil- What if they already spending five mil on entertainment? And that's start- like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, about a all right, so future is baby mother is Eliza Rain. She is well. She what she was asking for fifty three thousand dollars a month. She wanted fifty three thousand dollars a month in child support. They went to court. The judge ended up awarding her three thousand dollars a month in child support. Can we take note of something real quick? What? <laughs> we see, so you see how different. Different stages show you who like we ain't the same, nigga. Like his like Dr. Dre wife ex wife <laughs> asking for two million a month. She talking it's about, about fifty three thousand. Like and granted, we still think that's a lot. I just want to note that show well, that like we, niggas ain't the same out here. No, like, and, 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 like and baby mama and who do you, who do wife, we see though. who do we see with more? Yeah, I ain't, honestly I ain't never seen Dr. Dre with no drip on. Yeah. Even back when he was rapping, he always had his fucking yeah. jean jacket and a tee. Yeah. I've never seen Dr. That's Dre with no chains like and yeah. jewelry. So right. let's get back to it. I just hey, want to make I just hey. want to make that notice. So I have a question: If you have a child by a celebrity star, etc., is your child? obligated to have some type of lifestyle. I agree. I think, ups, that, I think so. And that's up to par. Right. Right. I so with that being said, do I, I think $53,000 a month for any kid is ridiculous? Hold Absolutely. Up. I think she's How, overestimating futures finances okay, too. That too. And he has a lot of kids. That takes into factor. So, but I am wondering to a degree, a certain amount does make sense in a way. Like, first of all, you're not about to be some 
pop star out here and my child is living like well look at chris house. brown and his girl i mean shit, Royalty. Send his son. <laughs> no you don't remember when Not it was a big deal because chris brown's baby mother was requesting uh money yeah because she said it's not fair that she goes to your house and it's super great and she comes back here and she feels poor like it's just not fair yeah, so it's like yeah she should be able to maintain, maintain her lifestyle in right. each and aspect unless you not, can take and, full and at the end of the day sometimes like i'm not gonna, i think some baby mothers are out of pocket however i think some baby mothers are being a little logical when it's like hold up like we're not going to be living in an apartment and you are living like this. I can't even give her a backyard. It's not just for me. At that point, it's about her. So what do you think about does? the ludicrous situation where they went to court and that was the argument and he's and the judge awarded him full custody because he was like, all right, well, I can provide the lifestyle. You visit her then. Well, look, I got the full well, custody. Look, but, and, and, on some real shit, battle. but doesn't I'm a little a, girl a, need her mother? So here's mm. what I will say is this, right? Little girl does need her mother. However, at that point, I think it has to be a conversation of just reality at that point. Like, okay, I'm not, I'm personally, you can't have full custody just because no. you live lavish. However, we do need to come to some agreement where she can still feel this continuously without it feeling like it's being swept under her rug because she's switching households. You get what I'm saying? So like at the end of the day, I might not, you you don't have to award me enough money to have a mansion like yours, but just at least make sure she's in a safe neighborhood. In a safe neighborhood. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. Because like, it doesn't Chris have Brown's, to be, but Chris, I'm not about to be living in a Chris, hood Chris when Brown's, she's at risk every day. Chris Brown's, baby mother's I argument she was or something that well she time. said that her community wasn't gated right. now that is a that's a legitimate argument because you know people are crazy out here yeah. they're obsessed with chris, chris brown, brown. Like, they're obsessed with this kid now they yeah, want to take exactly. that's not safe it's not safe. honestly you gonna have to beef up some security, security for me for too her. and that yes. bill alone is like a good 70 grand per right. whatever so it's like certain that's why i say like i'm not gonna say every baby mother out here is some of them are wilding. They just yeah. are lazy. They just want the money. But I do feel like certain instances, it does matter. Like my child having a safe neighborhood, security is pop proper. This is your pop star kid. You're not going to have people running down on my kid because I'm not, you know what I mean? I don't have no protection and I can't afford it. I heard Gucci man's baby mother was even only getting like $1,200 a month in child support and his kid has special needs. I think that in certain situations, like, all right, Dr. Dre and his wife, she put years into you. Eliza Rain, that was some fling yeah, stuff. No, yeah. That's not fair. You knew that man didn't want that baby. Right, and you went and had it. And you went and had it. Now, that is not your fault because he also could have protected himself. Right. However, you knew what you were getting yourself into, so it's almost one of those things where it's like, you got to accept what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? You went this far with it. He yeah. told you what it was. Now you can't bash him. He should take care of his kid, yeah, but you can't bash him kid. for right. not wanting to do it the way you, you want wanna, him to no, do it. You got to do it the that, way you should do it no, regardless. I agree with that 100%. But that's why I guess I, I can't relate to Eliza. Like, I don't relate to those type of bitches. Like, I just don't. No offense. I just don't. But I can see me relating to, like, say, for example, boom, Jay blows up, right? Gets hella big, right? We're not married. It's really his bread. You know what I'm saying? We have a kid together. And obviously, he's the type who's going to take care of his kid. I'm not saying that. However, he's like, well, you know, I live in mansion, but I don't really fuck with you because there's some guys like, I don't really fuck with you like that. I'll give you this much to make sure you're good, but I don't really fuck with you like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on the other things. There's like, because the other conversation I want to happen into, why is it that some men have kids with women just because they're not fucking with the mother no more? They are less. Are you supportive. talking about little baby? <laughs> Say it with your chest. Little baby. Say Adam. Nah, I fuck with little baby. Not saying it like that, but I'm saying it like that. Like, at the end of the day, like, you can't just, you know, you might can't pick your baby mother and you might not fuck with her, but your kid still has to be good and you're still a, mo like, but you're still bro a pop broke star. people like, do that too. It's no. like, if I'm mad at you, now I ain't yeah, seeing my like, kid. Like, like, nigga, what? I'll this is not got nothing to do with me. I don't, I don't, that's no, like, so. Nah, and, niggas and do that I, mean. like, I know, I know, but I'm calling girl it for what it is. You can't see your kid until I get... Right, but you gotta call it for what right. it is. That's but just shit. matching it on terms. Some people of just use the money, children as a pawn. Just, right. ch just, just attaching it to the terms of money. I just feel like, again, like at the end of the day, whoever wanted the baby, don't want the baby. It don't even matter no more. At the end of the day, you're still a pop star, and your kid is can't be out here just in a regular life. Like it just doesn't work like that. Like niggas get robbed for way less. Like you know Thanks. what I'm saying? Like. That and doesn't make crazy sense to me. fans just want to try to like, kidnap your kid or yeah, take pictures like, of your kid. Like, Weird stuff. Yeah, Exploit like, your we kid. We do need to live in a good neighborhood. She yeah. does need to go to a proper you do need school. To have security. She does have need to have security. She do like or he do. It doesn't matter. Like, and I think like 
some of the prices may sound absurd until you think about the the price of the actual need that you need. Yeah, I think. Now, fifty three thousand a, no, a month ridiculous. that's ridiculous. That's and, ridiculous. But I do think like three thousand is also pretty low because your kid can't even go to private school really? and, and eat a that, good meal on no three thousand a month. And, not at and all. I I ain't even seeing that kind of money. But Period. I know it costs me more than three thousand dollars a you month to me. maintain a roof over my daughter's head, food in her belly, it, clothes. Hair done, rent, car, like uh, it, it, education, it all at that of that. Point, it's like, child care. I mean, it could be half though, because it's not just I'm not I'm not just there to take care. It's supposed to be us. So if, if yes, yeah, it's, it's more than three thousand, but that's why you you come in. Right, play but, but I'm but, already but in the I'm, household, so but I it, gotta. But not even just that. If yeah. I'm demanding something from you in court, then that means you're not give, you're not doing it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like you, we we can all agree that future try to disown even the fact Multiple that he. Kids. Yeah, so it's like all right, well, in that instance. I kind of almost feel like she went for the highest number she could just so because it's like, you bitch ass nigga. How dare you not even acknowledge your child? And I think even still, it's almost like, okay, he went for the lowest number possible. I love me some future, but I couldn't fuck with that. Man, I think we sum this up by just saying, yo, take care of your kids, period. Like, yeah. God damn. Like, it's because, yours. Yeah, because I feel like even, yeah, it, it is two people. However, like, like, again, some people get rich and have babies with people who's not rich yeah, like and I'm there's saying, nothing you can do about that at that point like it's no different than like like nobody like for me i'm talking about the bitches who ain't really asking for the money for me but what you are gonna do is make sure this child yeah. is very well taken care of because it's a damn shame because that I'm, i gotta take you to court and you got millions, millions of dollars and like, won't give your kid right anything. you don't even gotta put it in my hand give it to your because there's a lot of people i don't give a fuck there's a lot of people it. who aren't on child support who right. are in big positions where it just they everything's good because they're doing what they're, what they're supposed, supposed to. to do so at the end of the day it's like do I think these numbers are astronomical and ridiculous? Yes. But however, do I think like you should be handling your business to the point where it doesn't have to get to this too? Yeah, absolutely. I will no, not talking to the say, bitches who are actually being petty and just say? want the extras. Now, I was about to say, at what point the future just say I'm about to get a vasectomy? Cause like, like just, seriously, just Ew. at that point. I mean, I mean, shit like, cause he's at what? Seven. How many? Ten. I heard. No. Ten. It's seven? We in double digits? Seven? I thought it was seven baby mamas. Oh, I thought it says kids. I thought it was ten kids, no? I don't know. I'm actually I don't know. Baby I, don't mama. Mama. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. Huh? It don't even matter. Yo, shout out to what up. I'm take, shout out to the dudes that's taking care of their kids. I don't even yeah. know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, shout out to the ladies that are holding it damn. that are not holding or that are not using their child as a pawn. Yes. Oh, yes. Yo, yes. um, can we move down a little bit real quick? <sighs> Let me see. Uh this one? All right, yeah, let's let's yeah, let's talk about this real quick. <clears throat> All right, um, at this point, I even like I'm just I'm literally and it's it's, it's so bad. All right, so let me just announce it. Um, in DC, I'll read, I'll read the whole thing now. Yeah, yeah uh, yeah, D, a DC police shoot and kill an 18 year old Dion K. Mm-hmm. Dion K. R. I. P. To Dion K. R. I. P. Um, at this point, it's like before we get into the story, <laughs> I said this before. I'm tired of having the conversation. And I am like, I'm, I am. So it's like, but it's like, we can't not have, we can't, because we have a platform, we got to have the conversation because we yeah. got to inform, we got to speak on the thing. We want to speak on everything else. As long as they keep doing it, we got to keep saying yeah, it. Yeah, but it's like, God damn, what do we? Every week. Every what week. The fuck? So it's crazy because but this situation, along with Dion K, also there was a man, mm-hmm. Daniel Pru, right? who got yeah. suffocated yeah. on camera. Yeah. I saw the whole thing. I didn't care it, was, it. Was it was disgusting. What you like, saying, Alex? Disgusting. I feel like with this situation, like and hold on, nobody got arrested. No, nope. they just now started the investigation. This happened the suspension. in like March. They murdered this man on camera. There's really not much to investigate. They at least need to bring charges. Still, no charges brought against these people. They were laughing while this man was yep. dying. Yep. That's like Elijah McClain. I mean, mm-hmm. they thought he was being dramatic, but I feel like with this situation, um, I'm gonna just read it for what it is. But uh, police arrive in Kay's neighborhood after spotting a uh, live stream, live stream social media video of Kay and others inside of a car. Holding weapons, according to Newsom, um, the officers recognize Kay and another man from uh, previous police encounters. And just before 4 p.m., police tracked the vehicle, a Dodge Caliber, to uh, the River Hill apartment complex at which he exited the car. Kay emerged next. Uh, they began running towards him. Kay can be seen on the body cam footage holding a gun, uh, and you basically see the Al- the cop Alvarez saying, "Don't move, don't move," and he shoots. He then shoots one shot, uh, and essentially killing the man. So when but I saw I the video, I didn't see a gun. First of all, I mean, but he you tossed it. No, but, but you can, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure if y'all know, but like, and yeah, I was gonna say when like, you he, toss he a gun, 
it in court it is considered handgun on person if they can recover the gun within a certain amount of feet however you don't shoot anybody unarmed so what i don't understand honestly maybe somebody else had a gun because on a video i heard them him. saying where's the gun where's yeah, the gun they didn't have back. Like, had i was confused oh, like, I, I don't know what the fuck clip where they slowed it down you could see him tossing a gun okay so i i seen that after we watched it because at first i was like we're i didn't see him have no guns but like i seen another clip they slowed it down and they seen him you could see him tossing it and they circled it in the air but so, how but long me, after was, did they yeah. shoot him in the chest but, but no so way. it was like simultaneously but what i'm saying is like what i was looking at is i don't know it was a, another gun because when he shot him, he yeah. went like around back. Yeah. So I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? You told me you can't find a gun. Weird. I thought it was right there. Like, yeah. like that's what I'm fuck? saying. Where's weird. the gun? Where's the well, gun? It I almost say, seemed what like. What I wanted to say is, and uh, some just brought it to me. I thought if they're running away, you if you shoot them, in, if you're shooting them and they're running away, you can't do that. No, so I think he came. Well, and shot, if they're he, shooting, he, he cut him back, off. He shot him in the. Yeah. Front. He shot him in the. Chest. That's what I'm saying. Like he shot him in the chest. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out like where were you at threat? Like I think, and if he threw the gun. Where were you at threat? I mean, honestly, like, you know, we can... But it's the justice system actually, again. Like I yeah. said, if you go to court for that and you toss a gun and they still charge you with handgun on person... I don't give a fuck what you charged them with. Why'd you kill him? Well, that's what I'm saying. Why is he dead? In, in, well, that's what I'm saying. In court, that's the, that's the tricky part. It's almost like they plan for it. Like, they're basically saying, even if you toss a gun and we saw you toss the gun, it's still considered possession, hand, possession on person. So yeah. there's like different levels of possession when it comes to the gun. You could have um, constructive possession where the gun is in the vicinity of you, but it's not on you because like it's in the trunk or something. But then if the gun is under the seat, they consider it on you. If you're running and you throw it, they consider it on you. And I, I think like, I kind of want to segue a little bit because like when I was reading it and doing my research, uh, how they even knew he had a gun and everything. When they talk about, like he was on Instagram, he posted a clip and he was on a live stream on Instagram. And I think the sad reality that we have to face as like black men, teens in particular, is like flexing for the gram. I mean, I've, I've flexing for the gram on certain occasions. I mean, it's never it's not worth your life. justification to lose your yeah. life, but we've seen in a hood, they tell you not to flex on the gram because you never know who's watching. But like, even in this situation, you just really have to be cautious about what you're putting on social media because you never know who's watching. Not saying it's justification or anything, yeah. but like yeah, I just want to put that just out there. Like, just be cautious. But a white person could be on social media, media and if, they could be like building a bomb. I'm a bomb this place, bomb that place, yeah. and they'll still come yeah, in I feel like and be like, "Can you please come die? Outside? Even if you're a criminal, you don't have to die. No, if you're a drug dealer, you don't have all. to die. If you sell coke, you don't have to die. If you have bad spirits, you don't have to die. Nah, not at all. To me, I don't like. Yeah. That's a fact. That's that's another conversation that we do. Like, as, look, come on. Like, we got to do better in general. However, I don't think that's a race thing. I think that's as human nature. Yeah. However, when it comes to killing black men, yeah. them. So what about Daniel fuck. Prude? Because he was butterball naked from what I saw. No weapon. Why did they suffocate him? And people say, you know, even if they thought he was being dramatic, I watched it. First of all, I don't know if anyone knows this, but like, in order to suffocate somebody, like they have to not be breathing for a certain wow. amount of time. When I watched the video, I could see his body, body struggling shaking. and I you could see, see the it. cop tightening Just, it, yeah. making sure. And they're laughing. And then when the paramedics came, they almost tried to make it seem like, oh, he's not breathing. Oh, we didn't know. No, no you, you watched, you, know. you literally you killed him know. and watched him die. I have a problem with that. Yeah. That was disgusting. Yeah. How are people, I still take it back to how are people being hired and I mean, at that point, you're a sociopath. You kill somebody with your bare hands. Right. How many times have you done it? Yep. What's going through your mind? Are these yeah. people really being screened properly? Right. Because nobody should even be in the position to kill someone or have authority over right. someone when they are already a sociopath. Right. And what is the proper protocol after you do have done it so many, but so many times? Because I'm sure it goes on record. Mm. Like if, like, for example, like if you, if you are in a wild situation and you have to shoot somebody as a cop right how many times do you have to do that before they sit you out and like okay we have to assess you and you have to go to therapy and ptsd and because now at this point if you have to shoot somebody you're not going to tell me that doesn't trigger something so amber dyer that, the one that went into the wrong apartment um that killed uh botman jean yeah yeah she had an incident where she was in self-defense and she shot somebody so like that could have triggered something when she yeah, shot. Like, and I'm gonna be real with y'all. That's the only one where I'm a little bit understanding. Understanding because I've gone to the wrong apartment before on the phone, talking to my boyfriend, whatever, going the wrong apartment, and then wait, the door opened. 
or yeah, sometimes it will. Like it depends on like if the door's already ajar. The door was ajar. So like even sometimes like I think I'm opening the door and then I open it and it was already unlocked and there's a whole family sitting in the living room and I'm like, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But I don't have a gun on me because I'm not a cop. So if I've been in a situation before where somebody has physically attacked me and I shot them, like if I come home and my door is ajar and I'm not paying attention, even though it wasn't her apartment, she still should serve for manslaughter. But I don't think it was intentional. However, had she not had that gun on her because she was in a situation where she needed to take she time off, because she, she might have just ran or she might have just called the police. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, situation yep. differently. Yep. Yeah. Right. Or even yep. gave him, him a moment to be like, this is not my place. But she reacted so quickly. That's got to be from PTSD. Yeah. Right. But and, and it's just like, how how properly are they screened going in and how properly are they screened even during out? The process, yeah, and I, like, I, and I was gonna say, what, what are your self evaluations like? Because like to routine, me, they're just like, they're stuff. like, okay, you good, like, what? Well, all right, check, and just keep on going about your day. But this, this shit is not like the easiest work. Like, you know, what I'm saying for the cops who are doing a good job, I'm sure it's such. We all know this is a stressful job. It's not. So, how often are they rotating them in and out? Like, all right, or how, they, we how, do that. how like, even, 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 even not even just that. Like, how well are you? educating these people yes. on the communities that right. they're going to be Policing, working in yeah. because yes. if you put me in a foreign land right now it's survival i ain't gonna mode. lie i it's might get mode. freaked out like if you put me in iraq right now yeah. and all of the stuff i've heard and that's what they think about I'm us arm and I'm, I'm I, I might shoot too if somebody if i think somebody's running towards me right. and i don't know what's going on yeah, so it's like perception is key. Yeah. Right. right so how well are they being educated on where they're at because I rarely see a black cop shoot a black person right. unarmed. And that's, and, and that's what I was saying. Or like, um, is And that goes into the conversation I was having last week. And what I mean by that is like, a lot of our kids don't want these positions no more. So at first the conversation for me was like, yo, we need to put more cops in the neighborhoods that come from those neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. But at this point where it's going, it's like nobody wants to be a cop. So we gonna, we not, we don't have a lot of those people to put in the neighborhoods that they came from because they don't, the people that came from these neighborhoods don't want to be cops. Yeah. Because the, the, you the know what I'm saying? Is, yeah. yeah, the narrative is, is fucked up because they do fucked up shit. Um, but at this point it's just like, man, yo, hire, just hire good people and get the, Away from all these fuck niggas, because no, like, these niggas I, is weirdos. Like, I do want to add to that, like what you said about self, self health evaluations. Like, I think that's something that they do need to check into because at the end, at the core of it all, they're human. You know what I mean? So a cop could be having a bad day. His wife could have said something. They should to have to, him pissed him off that yeah. day. They like, got this every day. Like, yeah, yeah. Daily check like, in. You but good? like, like really like, checking. I'm not talking about like y'all go all right, get to the four fellas. Like you gotta do what you do. I'm talking about. Yeah, it should be like really, your, your day, like, your day should is, start earlier. You know what I'm saying? Get paid more, of yeah. course. Right. But your day should start early and have a daily check in. I like that. Like, like yeah, like you gotta go to, uh, to a, an hour of therapy, like meditation. Therapy. I don't care what yeah. you do, just something. Because you you out here angry and you like what it is like come near you exactly. And I remember just hearing like um. One of my cop friends just tell me how many cops and firefighters and even military kill themselves a year. So it's obviously, you a know, like, right. It's a stressful, stressful job. job. Like I hear like lieutenants like retire because they can't see the shit no more. Or like they're tired of seeing babies die or they're tired. Like all these things are psychological. It's psychological. Like, and it's like, how well are you guys doing in the department to manage your employees? Like at the but end I, of the day, I, I still feel like it's a race thing though, because I rarely see white people shooting white people when they are armed going or crazy. when they're going no, crazy. No, no. Right. Yeah, all like it's no, almost it like, like all the time. Can I please have your gun? They they give you yeah. the, the rights that you're supposed right. to have. So it's also it also really just boils down to race at the end yeah. of the day. I don't I don't see these people suffocating right. white men or right. whatever. So it's like, even it's if like they have a little more grace for their kind. Exactly. So even if he is a sociopath, is he a sociopath or is he a racist? Because right. he's suffocating a black man like this and they're laughing, but I don't, I rarely see a white man being treated in these type of even ways. Even the way they treated his body after was just so disturbing. Like it's like, they it's just almost like human. It. They're not, they're like, like, like we're not animals because like, they don't think we are. Yeah. Like it's just, it's just, no, that's a fact. yeah, it's, it's Russell, like, again, Rest in peace to Daniel, Daniel yes. Rood and Dion K. Again, just, I'm very tired of having arrest, this conversation. And make some arrests. Bring yeah, some charges. Some arrests, right? Right? Taylor. Was, fucking Beyond right. Taylor, I'm sorry. Yeah, and that's right. just blatant. It's, just, like, it's crazy. It's yeah, man, that's episode 39. Gemini Scorpio podcast episode 39. I mean, that's all we got for today. Uh, it's a wrap, right? Gang, gang, we out. <laughs>